my name's Carol. I do the Burnley, Blackburn and Clitheroe area and I offer the free delivery service for Heights Farm Pet Food. Um, and today I've invited you to come along so you can see what my average day is with the uh, Heights Farm. to meeting them today is I take a photograph of the sack of food where I've left it and WhatsApp it over to them and just say delivery done and it's peace of mind that it's, it's all uh, it's all been delivered. Um, one of my other customers he has an absolutely gorgeous German Shepherd called Maximus and he just barks at me. <laughs> he always barks at me and then when he sees a black pudding stick he, su he suddenly shuts up he's even my best mate but the best thing for me is it's attached to a doggy daycare centre where we work together on a charity called Loving Luna and Friends and it's about rescuing dogs in Greece. What I love about this job, it's not just about delivering, it's not just about leaflet drops or farmers markets or events, it's a big, big, big mix and I like it and I feel like I'm putting something back when uh, I do my little bits of charity work. Right, well this is the collar club uh, and it's we work together with the Luna charity. Yes, it was a good work the cow, she had some good ideas. Really approachable as well, like you can talk to her about anything, not just dog food. <laughs> Okay, I'm John, I'm the owner at Lily's Dog Grooming in Accrington. Been working and supporting Carol's specialist dog food business for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've some, seen some fantastic results in some of our customers. We have quite a few like Westies, a couple of larger dogs with skin complaints, from dry skin to really greasy skin. And we've noticed a change since they've switched to this food in how the coat is, is responding. They certainly look healthier. Uh, the dog's personalities are affected by it as well. They're actually a little bit brighter, which is great to see. And uh, one of the lads who even works here, uh, he switched his dogs onto it as well. And again, skin complaint where there was actually hair loss and that's starting to bear fruit as well. It's, it's starting to grow back. Certainly, I could see the value in it straight away when I spoke to Carol. Janice and I'm the owner stroke Q mum of Drummer and Wilson. Drummer's 11 and Wilson is nearly eight. They both uh, thrive on Heights Farm food. We try to give her plenty of notice. Uh, we try not to be too last minute but she's always punctual, always on time, um, never a problem. Our eldest has been poorly recently um, he's had a, a gastric problem which the vet said was nothing to do with the food it was something he's picked up and um, he is now back to thriving <laughs> and Hi. Carol was very good she told us about what diet to put him on after he'd been poorly and then to gradually put him back on the high farm food they both like salmon and potato it only benefits Excuse with me. their ears um, they used to get um, a lot of itchy ears before, and, you know, it's grain free and better nutrients in it. Um, definitely I've noticed a difference in that, but more so their ears, because Labradors are renowned for getting itchy ears and, you know, having antibiotics, injections and wipes, and we've not had to bother with them at all. That cleared up very, very quickly. Yeah. Hi, my name is Margaret.
separate. Um, we've got a, a super duper uh, miniature schnauzer called Ruby. She is 16 months old. We got her when she was eight weeks and she's transformed our lives. Um, I don't know what we did before her. She's so full of energy and so full of fun. Um, we put her on to uh, Heights Found Food when she was about four months old and she's just gone from strength to strength. Um, she loves it, she had no problem feeding her. Very easy to buy from Heights Farm. Uh, bring Carol or text Carol and then Carol will get in touch with me and tell me when she can, she can bring the delivery. Um, it's always very convenient for me and make sure that Ruby doesn't run out of food. One time, uh, because I, I do work part time, Carol uh, dropped the top at work for me, which was a great help because it meant that uh, we weren't over the weekend without any food. So that was great. And as far as price is concerned, it's very, very competitive. In fact, I think it's actually cheaper than the food that she was on previously. And a, a, a coat is, is super, super soft and shiny. Um, and everybody who comes up and strokes her, because she's very, very friendly, um, always comments how, how great a coat is. Um, and the groomer has also commented that she's got such a, such a lovely coat. <laughs> started on his puppy food first of all and then ran on to the adult food and decided that he didn't like puppy food anymore did yeah, you? When he grew. Yeah, I found out about the food just through a leaflet drop that Carol had done and it was my mum that picked it up actually and I think my mum spoke to you in the street and gave us a sample and we tried it so we just thought we'd try the kibble because we also know as well my brother breeds dogs and how good it is for the teeth the kibble keeps the teeth clean well the food doesn't smell and the breath doesn't smell <laughs> So he was only, what, six months old and he had an accident and it was trauma. The week before we were going on our holidays, he just jumped up at the bed, jumped down wrong and broke his leg and it was a growth plate that went on his leg. So they did think he was going to have to operate on him and they were going to put um, a plate in and some pins and things. I decided no and they left him and I think, like I said, the food's been great because the joint care in it must have helped. It healed on its own. The quality of the food's excellent. I mean, I don't know a lot about the food apart from the rubbish that you can buy. <laughs> but it's great, it doesn't smell, it's fantastic. It's obviously very good for them and it's all natural stuff as well. The feeling's fantastic because Carol just delivers it. She's got most of the time not to the front door because we're at work during the day, aren't we? Yes. So she fetches it to work. I just bring her up last minute as usual. <laughs> Please, can I have a bag? Don't we? And she delivers it straight to the car park. You ring me up, don't you? Ten minutes before yeah. you're there. Yeah. So it's no problem. Yeah. And we can pay online as well, don't we? Sort of the bonus for this job is the fact that a lot of my uh, human customers have become good friends. Call me for all sorts of advice and sometimes it's to chat. And it is. It's a nice personal touch. I think they like it as well because they trust me and trust what I do. They also love the fact that it's the convenience of it at the end of the day. You know, I tend to deliver within 24, 48 hours of their orders and it's always that, that's whether they want to leave it somewhere from or meet them at work or just, you know, whatever's best for them. So, thank you for following me around today. It's been a, an eventful day showing off my average deliveries of meeting new customers, leaflet drops and stuff like that. It's a really, really busy day when you do a, a, a Heights Farm franchise. So please, if you are interested in uh, becoming a Heights Farm customer, do get in touch. If you are interested in a free sample, I'm more than happy to drop one around to you. So email me, ring me, text me, whatever. And I'm happy to do that for you. Thank you so much. Bye.